Hello, everybody. I'm his big bear, Ron. It's uh, Saturday afternoon, about 1225. It's been 100 degrees and more down here in the Atlanta area. Can you believe it? The whole time I was in the Philippines, it never got that hot. Here it's humid and hot. Oh, my. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, good afternoon to you. All right, I've got a few questions I want to shoot at you, and let's just see how this plays out, okay? So come on board, and let's hear what you got to say. All right, I want you to get out of your chair right now, or wherever you are, and go to your refrigerator, no cheating, and I want you to count the number of on, I mean, the number of open jars of mayonnaise, bottles of ketchup, squeezy bottles of uh, mustard, mayonnaise, or jelly, or whatever. I don't want you to come back and tell us uh, what your count was like. I checked my refrigerator just a few minutes ago, and I'll be dead gum if I didn't have two containers, open containers of squeezy mayonnaise in in the fridge. You know, and uh, I think there was a couple of squeezy mustards in there too. You know, what's up with all that? Is your refrigerator like that sometimes too? Tell us about it. <laughs> hey y'all, this is my, my coin jar, and you know what, I look around all over the place and I find pennies and I pick them up, dimes and nickels, do you pick up coins off the ground like I do? And tell me your experiences, you know I filled this jar up a few times in the last year, and uh, this jar holds enough, I buy me a tank full of gas. Now, where did I put that dang pen? <laughs> How many pens have you lost in the last month? I know I put it here somewhere. Oh, and don't you just hate it when someone moves something around on your desk? The other day, somebody moved my calculator, and I'll tell you what, I had the hardest time finding it. It was underneath something, but goodness. <laughs> Do you go berserk when something's sort of out of place at your desk? <laughs> Tell us about it. With you. you know, the other day, uh, I had to pull in and get some gas uh, at the gas station, one of the ones that I normally go to, and uh, you have to put the gas in on the right-hand side of my car. I drive one of those PT cruisers, and I tell you what, uh, my luck, as my luck would have it, uh, all the cars were lined up at the pumps in such a way I had to wait forever for a spot so that the pump would be on the right hand side of my car. <laughs> do you ever experience things like that at the gas station? What do, you, what do you hate about gas stations? Come on, that's the one thing I hate most is when that I have to pull up to the pump and the pump has to be on the right hand side of my car because uh, oftentimes the little hose, it's not long enough or I don't want it scratched around on my car. Anyway, what's your story? Oh boy, I have got spider webs all up in the corners, and yeah, one or two of them, there's a spider with long legs. I'm going to have to get the vacuum cleaner hose up there and and destroy that beautiful work of art, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, if I were to hire a maid service, probably the one thing I'd have them do most often is to vacuum all over up in there and dust my furniture and vacuum my carpet. What about you? If you were to hire a maid service, uh, what would you have them do more than anything else? Okay, are you the miser that I am? I mean, are you almost obsessed with being meticulous? <laughs> Talking about obsession there and redundant. But I'm always checking my 
bank balance online. I'll bet I check the bank balance twice a day, if not more. Um, and yep, I do know the current balance of my account, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Are you like that? What are you? If not your bank account, what is something that you are just very obsessively meticulous about? <laughs> Tell us about yourself, will you?